Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the new launches of Mr. Makeup by Mario. I bought one color in each formula, so I have every formula to try. So if you want to see my thoughts on them, some application tips, and just keep watching. Hi guys, if you're new here, my name is Morgan. I am a product knowledge enthusiast. I just love knowing anything and everything about all the new makeup on the market and sharing my thoughts with you guys. And Mr. Makeup by Mario has a new launch. It's been a while. I do enjoy that he spaced out his launch. It makes it more exciting, I think. And like I said, I bought one color in each category. Now I've tried these products before. I played with them last night. So I already kind of have some thoughts and I wanna give you guys some application tips and all of that good stuff. So on my face, right now. I am not wearing any powder. I'm about to put powder down on one side of my face because when I tested these products out last night, I put down the cream products first and then I put down the powder products over top. But today I want to see how they work individually, how they wear individually, all that good stuff. So it still is kind of a test for myself. I'm going to put the powder on this side. So I'm going to set down my under eyes really quickly. If you're wondering what's on my face right now, Estee Lauder Futurist Hydra Rescue foundation. Amazing. Tarte Ultra Creamy. And then I am on day two of wearing the Patrick Ta eyeshadow palette that is super stunning. However, I mean, it's a very boring palette, but I mean, how cute is this look? I use like three, four shadows from the palette. Anyways, okay. I'm going to set down some Charlotte Tilbury Magic Powder really quick just because I'm putting powders on this side and I want to apply the products as I would in my everyday routine because, you know, you shouldn't have to adjust too much to make products work. And I always kind of leave the outer parts of my face without powder because I feel like the colored powder products that I put over top will set it. Okay, so let's get started with the very first item. Now this item, oddly enough, is not available on the Sephora website still. This is the Soft Sculpt shaping stick and I held off on making my order off of Sephora because that's normally where I order my stuff. Gotta get my points. I waited and waited and this like never came into stock so I ended up making my Makeup by Mario order of all the other products that I wanted and I ordered this directly from the Makeup by Mario website and I think I'm about to start ordering from that website because their expedited shipping was cheaper. I don't know it's just easier and this was in stock. But anyways let's talk about this product. So it is $28. That's a nice mid-range price. Not too pricey. We like that. There are six shades. I like that he kind of named these by the depth of your skin. I got the shade light medium and I was so excited because I feel like sometimes products don't have light medium and I have light medium skin. It's just like I never know if I should go for the light or the medium because the light's always too light, medium's always too dark. So the light medium made me happy. So this is a dual ended cream shaping stick that is buildable and swipes on seamlessly for true to skin definition. Now the packaging of all of these items, I'm just going to show you this one time. They're all simple black cardboard packaging. I mean, very sleek. Nothing really to write home about. So let's talk about the packaging of this really quickly. It's all white with black accents here. It's plastic. It's nothing too fancy schmancy or anything. And here is what the light medium looks like. Now taking a look at the bottom, this is made in... Okay, good thing I kept the boxes because I don't know. <laughs> This is made in Italy with an 18 month shelf life. Okay, now what's also interesting about this, I will say this feels a little bit loose. It doesn't feel the sturdiest. Um, That's just, you know, I'm used to the luxury makeup. So I feel like I have to mention that. And if you actually pop out the bottom here, you have a brush that has like weird little balls on top of it. I think these are here because they help kind of move the product. They had that extra little bit of texture. I don't know. Let me zoom in closer. Okay, so we're gonna do this on the unpowdered side. Let me show you the swatch. So you can see this is cool toned. It's not warm at all. So I feel like this is going to be more shaping, which is what the intention is. Now what's very trendy right now as far as contouring is to put your contour a little bit high, not to necessarily go where you were originally taught by sucking in, which I still do sometimes, but I do see that lifted cheekbone look and I do like it. So I'm going to just draw it on. Now I'm a huge sponge girl when it comes to these cream products. My favorite way to apply this, I found. I like to go in with the butt of my beauty blender and apply it because I do feel like, and this goes for the blush stick as well, this is a bit 
of a stiffer cream product. It doesn't quite melt to the touch of the skin as much as I would like. So I prefer the sponge, but I did want to show you how it is intended to be applied. But just my little tip there is I like a sponge better. Now, Mario recommended that you use the brush. I'm going to use it because it's right there, but you shouldn't swipe because that might move the product underneath, but just tap and it will eventually work itself out. It takes a little bit longer than how I feel like my sponge would work, but this brush does work blending it out as long as you tap it out. I was a little bit skeptical at first because like I said, this isn't the creamiest consistency. It's definitely not as smooth as my milk makeup stick would be. Mario was wrong, so I don't believe him. If you do pat it out, it works out really beautifully. And this color is such a good contouring shade for my skin tone. Now we also want to put some of that right here. I'm just going to blend it out with my sponge to show you the difference. And I do think that his brush blends this product out better than the sponge. As you can see, however, the product does blend out easier, in my opinion, if you just go in with the sponge first. But normally I prefer to use my sponge to blend things out, but I don't think the sponge is dense enough to really move this product out. This is one of the few times where if you're going to apply this directly to the skin, I'm going to recommend using the brush that it comes with. I mean, that blended in really nice, but like I said, it's not as fast as if I were to use a sponge. Also, I feel like this is too wide. The brush, this is me being extra nitpicky, but it's kind of hard to get it in the cap without the brushes fraying out. So like, yeah, anyways, nitpicky there, but I think that is a packaging flaw. I'm really quickly just going to use my sponge and I think it gives a more natural appearance as well when you apply it like this. So this is my favorite way to apply it, but the next best thing is to just slide it onto the skin and then pat the brush to blend it out. But I really love this color on me. It's like the perfect contouring shade and it blended in really nice on the skin at the end of the day. By the way, this packaging though, I'm making it disgusting because it's white. My foundation fingers are getting all over it. Okay, so let's move on to the powder side here. So there is a soft sculpt bronzer. Here is the packaging here. There are also six shades, the same names. It's just a powder format. This is in the shade light medium. This is made in Italy with a 24 month shelf life. It's the same price as the cream. It's $28. So if you were deciding between one or the other. They're both the same price. This is also the shade light medium. You do have a mirror here. Very nice magnetic closure. This feels sturdier than the stick. It is plastic, but it's definitely more weighty than the stick is going to be. The stick definitely feels like cheaper packaging. Yep, we still have those six shades. This is supposed to be a buildable, lightweight, multi-purpose bronzer that's supposed to create both definition and naturally bronze skin with minimum fallout. Feels nice, pretty creamy, and I want to compare the colors for you. So down here, is the light medium bronzer. It definitely had a sheer formula. So I had to circle around a few times and you can see that this has a little bit more of a brown tone, a little touch more warmth. Whereas this guy, the cream is more cool. So it kind of depends on your preferences here. I'm going to use the number five refer brush. I promised you this is cleaned off. I'm just gonna do one tap in the product. I'm gonna put this kind of in the same area. I want you to be able to see the differences here. I will say typically, I'm not a cream kind of girl. I prefer powders. I think they're easier, but there's something about the way a cream bronzer just blends into the skin so much more seamlessly and how much more skin-like it is. It was much quicker to apply the powder, but I think the bronzer side here, it just looks much more skin-like. You can definitely see a difference in the glowiness here. I do really like the shade of the powder bronzer. For my skin tone, I probably should have used a lighter hand. It does apply some color. I probably could have gone a color down and have been okay, but it's a different look for sure. I definitely feel like this one is a little bit more bronzy ever so slightly, but really the main difference that I notice, of course, is the finish onto the skin and how much more seamless it looks. Now keep in mind, glowiness equals emphasization and texture. The powder definitely blurred the skin a little bit more. I would say it's definitely a preference thing between the two. I think I'm leaning more towards the contour stick. I just like the way it looks better. However, However, this is a bomb bronzer. I think it's really beautiful. I hadn't tried this yet on its own. I'm really liking it. All right, guys, it's time to move on to blush. I had a hard time picking out which blush color I wanted. They looked really stunning, and I do like cream blush as well. So these are called the Soft Pop Blush Sticks. I ended up picking up the shade Pale Petal. Now, this product is made in the USA as opposed to Italy. Like, 
the previous two products and it has an 18 month shelf life. So when you open it up, it's still that same kind of flimsy feeling packaging and then you still have the balls at the end. We're gonna use those today. So this is $28 as well. There are six shades. They aren't like light, light medium. They have actual names. The earthy pink looks really good. What I like on the website is the colors that they have. They tell you what skin tones this would work best for. So pale petal is supposed to work best for porcelain, light, and light medium skin tones. Now let me swatch this for you. I went over about three times and you can see that color right here. It definitely is a buildable formula. So when I used this yesterday, I, I wasn't as thrilled with this formula. Again, I feel like it's a bit of a stiff formula. So it moves the foundation underneath. I really did not like how it looked when I applied it straight to the cheek and blended it out. I, I felt like it removed the foundation. Again, use a sponge to apply it. I'm gonna show you really quickly. Just go like this. I'm gonna put it towards the front of my cheek and then we'll do the other way towards the back of my cheek. You see that way the foundation doesn't remove. It does apply a lighter layer of color when you do this though. So if you're looking for a pack of pigment and you're gonna apply this way, maybe go for a darker color. But see, that way, looks fine. So I'm gonna go this way now and I'm gonna use that same padding out. I'm kind of hitting my face kind of hard to do this. Yeah, I don't really like the way that this looks when I apply it like this. I feel like it does move the foundation. Underneath, I have to be very, very careful and be very, very careful about how I blend this because this brush is so stiff. Do not swipe. You will remove the product underneath. I blended it up better today than it did yesterday when I went right into the apple of the cheek where this is where you do not want to remove the foundation because that's the first thing that you see. So I'm gonna be extra soft up here. And now when it's applied like this, I mean, it's a beautiful color. It gives you a very pretty flush. It's not too much color, but you can definitely build it up. So it's that blendable formula that he talks about. So it does have that buildable coverage with a dewy finish in a moisturizing formula. It's supposed to be for all skin types. And I like it, but there's a lot of great cream blush formulas out there and this one definitely doesn't top my list that's for sure it gets the job done it works okay but for me there's just other cream blushes that I can be completely thoughtless when applying this one I have to be a little bit more thoughtful so that I know I'm not going to disrupt what's underneath so yeah now he also came out with a soft pop powder blush. I'm gonna assume this is $28. Let me check the site. Oh, okay, this is $24. So this one is actually gonna be cheaper than the cream product. However, it is significantly smaller. Here it is in comparison to the bronzer. Also, the highlight is bigger. I would prefer more blush, but that's just me. Anyways, so this one only has five shades. I picked up the shade Creamy Peach, which works best with light, light, medium, 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 dark, and dark skin tone. So I guess it works with all. So this is supposed to be a long long-lasting silky powder blush that is super blendable and gives an instant pop of color, brightening and lifting your complexion. And you can see Creamy Peach does have a little bit of reflex in there. Here it is in comparison to the Petal Pop and it is sheer. So let's take a look on it on the cheeks. So you're not going to get any fallout with this blush, which is really nice because it looks like it could be a formula that does have some fallout. Ooh, this shade is really brightening to my cheeks. How pretty is that oh, we have two very different looks going on on the skin. I think it also depends not only on what skin type you have, but what climate do you live in? You know, because I feel like as beautiful as this is, people say they like these kind of formulas in the summer and I just feel like it makes me super oily really quickly in the summer. I honestly prefer something like this in the summer because I become oily and dewy anyways, that it lifts up the face and ends up brightening and becoming more dewy anyways. And in the winter, my skin is so dry, I almost prefer this look because the powder doesn't <laughs> cling to those patches, but that's just me. Anyways, here's how the blush is looking very different between the two sides. I will say this side looks much more healthy. This side looks a little bit more dull, but I think wear is the reason why I would prefer the powder side, but that's really pretty. And the color definitely gives me more of like a burnt look in a very pretty way. So this blush, really nice, blends on beautifully. It's definitely a solid formula. It's a little bit more blurring to the skin as well. I have nothing bad to say about these blushes. I think they're really nice. I love that there's no fallout. And I think it's hard to over apply with these. It's a very foolproof formula. So I actually really recommend this if you're interested, you know. I mean, we don't need any more blush, but this, this is really nice. Where is this made in? This guy is also made in the USA. 24 months shelf life. I'm a nerd in case you didn't know about where products are made. Okay, there is only one product left. 
left. That is the Soft Glow Highlighter. Like I said, this is bigger than the blush. $28 is the price of this. Same white packaging that is consistent throughout the line. Again, these compacts feel more luxurious. So there are five shades that this comes out with. Again, he does recommend which skin tones the shades look best with. I decided to go with Pearl. This is made in the USA, by the way, with an 18-month shelf life. These are supposed to be a creamy, weightless highlighter that illuminates and visibly smooths the appearance of skin. That's a big claim for a highlighter for healthy, effortless, back from the beach glow. So here is what the finger swatch is looking. It feels very, very smooth in the pan. And this looks like, excuse it over my wash chan. This looks like it's going to be very beaming, but it's interesting on the cheek. I'm gonna show you. Like I said, I do have the experience with it. So I'm gonna use my Kaleidos H1 brush. It's just my favorite highlight brush. Okay. No fallout from this, but there's definitely more powder than what you're going to get from the blush, you know, when I tap my brush off. I believe he said this wasn't supposed to give you that beaming look. This is kind of his modern take on the sculpted look. And he said basically super shiny beaming highlighters are out. I mean, this gives you a glow. I don't know, maybe it's the color that I got, but it gives you a glow, but it's still very natural on the skin at the same time. I don't know if that's the best explanation. Does it blur my skin? Let me take a closer look. Kind of. It kind of does. Um, what I really like about this is it almost has like a pearl to it that is different than what you see in the pan. There's like a shift to it that's like a soft pinky gold, which is really stunning. It works seamlessly with the blush color. I don't know if you can see that shift, but it definitely does not look like it looks in the pan. And I really like this. I like this shift that it seems to have. Let me show you it on the cream side. I mean, it's not a super smoothing highlight, but it's a highlight, but it's not super texture emphasizing either. Oh, I really love this glow that it gives. It's like, I don't wanna say it's a unique glow, but I don't have a lot of highlighters that give a glow quite like this. It's a shifty glow, you know? It's not wham bam in your face. It's only in certain lights. Can you see it? I don't know. Listen, I'm not telling you to get another highlighter. I know we don't need another highlighter, but I, there's something about this highlighter that is different than ordinary highlighters. So take up that what you will. I'm gonna do one last thing just to kind of show you how the products layer over one another. So I am gonna put the powder products over the cream products so you can see that that's what I did last night. But before I do that, just take a look at the cream side with the powder highlighter because there's no cream highlighters, which thank goodness because I do not like cream highlighters. I wouldn't have purchased a cream highlighter had he come out with it because I have not found one that I like. I wonder if he did that too because he also doesn't like cream highlighters. I don't know, but I'm happy he did it regardless. Regardless, but you can see the difference between the cream side and the powder side. I'm gonna pop just a little bit of the bronzer just to set it. And you can see you should probably use a light hand because bam, that bronzer stuck right to the cream. I mean, that's what happens when you put a powder over a cream. Let me put a touch of our blush like that, barely any over top. Mm, mm, mm. All right, I'm gonna put on my lips because I filmed this whole video with crusty lips, didn't I? <laughs> I never think about it until after. I just have crusty lips when I edit and I'm like, Anyways, okay, I'll be right back. Hold on. All right, guys, the lips are on. I feel like a better human being. Final thoughts. Let's talk about it. At the end of the day with these products, there wasn't anything that I didn't like. I think this is a very solid launch. I think all of the products are super nice. Now, is there any products that I'm in love with that are gonna replace my favorites? No. If I'm being completely honest, I prefer my Milk Makeup Bronzer. I prefer my Nude Sticks Bronzer. I prefer my Nude Sticks Blushes. I prefer the Fenty Blushes. You know, that kind of thing. But everything is really solid. What I really like about the Cream Contour Stick is that I don't think I have a cream contour. That's that color. I feel the color is so flattering for my skin tone that I actually will end up reaching for it a lot because the color is just so good. It's just not a groundbreaking formula for me. The blush, I'm pretty picky about my cream blush formulas. That one is just a little bit too stiff for my preference. I have to really work to make it work 
to how I like it, so I'm not the biggest fan of that. As far as the powder bronzer, I really enjoy it. I think it's a solid bronzer. Uh, it doesn't stand out in my pretty amazing bronzer collection, I have to say. Again, it's nice. I have nothing bad to say about it. It gives me a really nice sun-kissed kind of look. It makes me, I don't know, it's really flattering for my skin tone. I really like the blush as well. I like there, that there was no fallout, but there wasn't anything to write home about about the blush formula other than it's a really good formula. The highlight, I think, is probably if we're talking in terms of the most unique the most unique but highlighters don't excite me like they used to but dang I think the highlighter probably is my favorite thing followed by the cream bronzer because the color was really good and then the last three items I could kind of give or take you know what I mean does that make sense but everything is really solid so if you were actually very interested in the products I don't think you'll be disappointed they work just fine yeah I think Mario did an awesome job with this launch and I am very happy so that is all I have for today's video I hope you guys enjoyed this review thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this if you aren't subscribed to my channel already I would love it if you would consider taking the time to do so and I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys. Have a good one.